there, it's Hillary, and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. Today I am going to be setting up a traveler's notebook for February. So I love setting up seasonal traveler's notebooks, and I do have some videos. I think I have three fall traveler's notebook setups, one Christmas one, and one summer one, and maybe one generic one. <laughs> I think, but I thought it would be fun to set up a love themed one for February. I love February. It is our anniversary. It's my birthday and it is Valentine's Day. And I love celebrating love. Most of all, God's love for you and for me. And I have always just felt so loved by my family. And we always made growing up Valentine's Day was just something really special in my family. And I do have a whole February love themed digital magazine that I released last year. And I'll try and put like a picture of it or something here. But I'll have a link to that in the description box below if you want to hear more about kind of some of my family valentine's traditions growing up but really excited for february and so i'm going to set up a traveler's notebook with some of my love themed products and kits and devotion books and prayer journals and whatnot so this is the traveler's notebook i've used in years past it is from freckled fawn it has this cute heart pattern but I wanted to switch it up a little bit and use something different so I'm going to use this one which is from Webster's Pages which is a company that isn't actually around anymore <laughs> but um a sweet friend gifted me some Webster's Pages traveler's notebooks and I loved this pink one a company that does still make traveler's notebooks is Carpe Diem and I will oops I will have my Amazon storefront linked down below and under some of the different sections are traveler's notebooks like I think under my planner section there's a few different ones I know Carpe Diem has like a buffalo print one they have a black one they have a floral one so I'll link some of those in the description box below if you want to pick up a traveler's notebook cover and set one up for yourself and then this is one of the stickers I have in my Etsy shop and I'll have this linked below and I love it. it says in my darkest season you Lord carried me and I think that is so important to remember that in whatever season you are facing that God is with you and he's carrying you and most of all he loves you more than anyone else in the whole entire world so Let's get this set up and I pulled this cute little journaling card I have of my husband and I. On the other side it says life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And so I think I'm going to add this in here and then I love this particular traveler's notebook has a little spot here and I'm going to use one of my cute little verse cards. I also have some Valentine's Day cards too. And I will have a blog post roundup that has links to all of the different love themed printables and products that I have. So that is a really great place to check out. So I'm going to see, I think I have some more of the verse cards in here that I can pick one to use on the inside cover there. So I have... Again, a lot of love themed things that would be really great to use for your own traveler's notebook setup. It's super awesome to have these themed TN setups, traveler's notebook setups for the season. So I think I'm going to cut out this one, Psalm 136.1. It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Love that verse. So amazing to be able to reflect on God's amazing love. But there's a lot of good ones Oops, that you could use. Love you, Yahweh, my strength. So I'm going to put this one in, whoops, don't 
want all of my printables to pop out of the binder. That would be not very good. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to slide this in here. Hopefully. I think I need to trim it down a teeny bit more. These are three by three verse cards. These would be really cute hung up somewhere in your house too. Oh, that looks very cute. Oh, I love that so much. So I also want to stick this in here maybe. I think I'm going to trim it down a little bit though. That's cute. I like that a lot. And I've been debating whether or not to put this on the top or the bottom. And most everyone, I did a couple polls, one on Instagram, one on YouTube, and everyone said to put it down here. I asked my husband, he thought up here would look better. <laughs> so I've been in a big debate with myself over which would look better. I think I want to do it in the middle. I really love this heart-shaped vinyl sticker and it's just going to be so perfect for this journal. I love that. That's so pretty. Okay, now I'm going to pick some inserts that I want to use. So I pulled my containers here. So I'm going to use this one. This is a generic gratitude and prayer journal that I have and I think that would be pretty in here. And last year this is where I did my Psalms of Love scripture reading plan. So that is really neat but I don't think I'm going to use that this year. Let's see what I have in my other container. So I have my prayer journal for my husband and my extravagant love devotion book. So these are the ones that I'm going to add. And I did want to mention another one that would be really great to include in here is my Fruit of the Spirit love scripture writing plan devotion book. And... So this has 25 Bible verses about love. And so this would be really cute in here too. And I do, Lord willing, hope that I will get the ones for the, the TNs for the rest of the scripture writing plan done. But I'm using this in my love scripture writing plan in here, which is too big to fit. But I just wanted to give you a few ideas for some other love themed things that I have here at Creative Faith. So I'm excited to dive back into this scripture writing plan this year. All right, so these are going to be my traveler's notebooks. So Extravagant Love is a devotion book that I have all about God's love and I will link this down below on Amazon if you want to check it out. It is a really good one and always a good time to reflect on God's love. So this would be kind of cute to have at the front. And then I have my prayer journal for my husband and this I have free scripture writing plan for my husband. Um, and this is a free printable on the Creative Faith blog. And then this is 30 days of prayers for your husband. And it's a prayer journal on Amazon. And then I've decorated it. And so I have worked through this a little bit so far. You can see but I definitely want to maybe try and finish it this year. So 
I started it in 2022. <laughs> and I do have a couple of videos about this that I can link in the description box below if you want to learn more about that. But definitely awesome to check out the, the free prayer for, pray for your husband one. And then this is my gratitude and prayer journal. Just a generic one. This is the gray and pink version, which is again, perfect for year round. And then I wanted to, I need to find where I put it first. I want to add one more insert in here. So the last insert I want to add in here is a spot where I can put some of the printables I have. And so this one has a bunch of these little slots here. So this one might be good. And then this is a different one. It's more of like a folder style. And I'll link a few similar options to these on Amazon if you want to check them out. But I think I'm going to use this one little one instead. And then what I can do is tuck some of these love printables in here. So these are elements from my hearts printable that have these little verses and so I kind of the perfect size for here. Let's see, I haven't used this before. I need to figure out how to slide in the elements. <laughs> Cute. And then I also have my pink florals. And then I think some of these little guys should be able to fit in here. So I love setting up seasonal traveler's notebooks like this because then you can have a bunch of supplies here and ready to go for journaling and so it makes it easy to take on the go. So I can take these and tuck those in the second section here. All right, and then another set of printables that I love are all my different Valentine mugs ones. I think I have three different Valentine mug printables. I love printing them on white sticker paper and then I just will kind of sit in front of the TV and watch some YouTube videos and cut out a bunch of them. So these I all prepped all last year. So neat to be able to use those this year. So just gathering a few of them. Maybe I can kind of sort them out. I have like a pale purple set, which is pretty, and then some more pinky sets. I love this one. It's a little Bible that says God's love letter. Very, very perfect. business cards, but I think it's perfect for printables. Oops, that one got folded. Oh, 
All right. There we go. So now I've got my inserts in and let's see, there's another thing I wanted to do. So I love using washi tape and I love storing them on these little tags. So I thought I would pull some love themed washi tape, some pink washi tape and wrap it around this tag. So I can have a washi tape ready to go, on the go. That one's a really pretty one. Might be kind of hard for me to do this on camera. I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> and then you can also see to the right of my Traveler's Notebook, I have a black music book holder. So I love using those to hold open my journals as I am using them and writing in them. And then I also pulled a paper clip from my stash that I thought would be really pretty to include. So, I love this pretty washi tape. I'm almost out of it. So there's one. It's hard for me to pick what washi tape I want to use for, <laughs> for this tag because I have quite a collection of pink washi tapes. I just love Valentine's Day and love love. What's not to love about love? <laughs> One other thing I'm thinking about adding here is the pink floral borders and corners printable that I mentioned. It comes with some verse cards and I thought it might be neat to use one of those as a bookmark as well. So I thought that might be kind of a fun thing to add to. So maybe off camera real quick, I'll add the rest of the washi tapes. All right, I got my cute little washi tag all ready to go. I also remembered I had this pretty paper clip that will look very cute there. And I can maybe stick this one out from the top of here. On the next open devotion. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that. I also have this little heart, but since I have that one, I think I'll save that for a different time. And I can tuck this back here. And then this is the pink borders and corners. And so you can see there's tons of different versions. So you can use a lot of these for your own prayers and verses. Maybe I'll cut one of these to put in the front. Kind of kicking it out. These ones I like to print on cardstock, so they're thicker to use for verses and prayers and bookmarks. So do I have, here's another bookmark style one. I have some of these that have some hymns on them. these. 
love reflecting on God's love. And these would be really sweet burst cards to frame and add to your house as some pretty Valentine's Day decor. how this turned out. It is chunky and ready for time with the Lord. So I put the sticker on the front and I have my I love God's word pen. Perfect for any season but the color makes it especially good for February. And then on the inside I tucked one of those bookmarks. I can use this for journaling in here or just as a decoration. I have the cute picture of my husband and I and I have one of the love verse cards here. I have my extravagant love devotion book. I have my prayer journal for my husband and my gratitude and prayer journal. And then in the back I have some love theme printables ready to go for journaling. And then I also have my washi card with some love themed washi tape as well as my music book holder that I can use for holding my journals open while I work in them. So let me know what you think of my February love theme traveler's notebook. Again, all the resources I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. And I hope you spend time setting something up to spend time with the Lord this season. And he has something he wants to teach you through his word and he loves you so much. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any creative faith videos and I'll see you next time. Bye friend!